In this video, I'm going to show you how you can earn cash back when you shop online. The program is absolutely free. It will never cost you a penny. You won't have to sign anyone else up. You won't have to spend X amount of dollars every year or every month to be a member. You can simply shop at your leisure and earn cash back on the purchases you're already making. The program is called BigCrumbs.com and this is the home page. It's not one of those get rich quick schemes. After watching this video, you won't be able to go into work tomorrow, flick off your boss, fly out to Ibiza and live the good life drinking booze on the beach. But it still sounds a little bit dodgy. This company are essentially giving you money for free. What's in it for them and how does this work? If you waste a lot of time online, and I know I do, you'll have seen advertisements at a lot of sites. If you were to click on one of these ads and purchase a product, the site that directed you will earn a commission. This works the same way. You want to shop at eBay, you'll go to bigcrumbs.com, you'll click on the eBay link, Big Crumbs, you, you buy the item, Big Crumbs will earn a commission from eBay, and instead of Big Crumbs holding on to the commission, they'll divide it with you. For example, at target.com, Big Crumbs is giving you 6.3% back on most purchases. If they're giving you 6.3, you figure they're probably making 8.5 and dividing the rest. So now that you know exactly how it works, how many stores actually give you money back through this program? Is it even worth your time? In my case, I'd say about 90% of the stores I shop at are on here. I shop at primarily eBay, I often shop at Newegg, I often shop at Buy.com, Office Depot, at Staples. I mean, these are stores that most people actually do shop at. If you do want to see what uh, stores are available, you go to BigCrumbs.com, you'll click on the Shop tab on the left-hand side, right over here. There's a drop-down menu, also on the left side, and you'll scroll through this list of hundreds of stores. On the list, you'll see stores like eBay, Barnes & Noble, CompUSA, Borders, Best Buy, Staples, Gap, Macy's, etc. A good rule of thumb, if you're about to purchase something online, before you go ahead and make the purchase, you go to bigcrumbs.com, go to this page and see if they're on the list. If they're not on the list, not a big deal. But if they are on the list, you just click on the link through your account and you earn cash back. It does not make sense not to do this. The other night, actually, I was speaking to my brother. He's going on about this uh, pair of shoes he bought for $10. I mean, he didn't buy them for $10, he got $10 off, sorry. So, I asked him, where did you buy the shoes? He tells me he bought them at Piper Lime. I happened to notice Piper Lime on the site, and I actually signed him up. I signed my brother up to Big Crumbs a couple weeks ago. So I asked him, did you go to Big Crumbs to make the purchase? Immediately, he's sweating, he scrambles online, goes to the list, he's getting nervous. He goes to the list, let's go down to Piper Lime, I know they're on here. S clicks on it, there, where are we, um, there we are, and he sees 13.5% back, which is mammoth, I mean usually you're going to be looking at 5, maybe 2.5 sometimes, oh, you know, rarely you see a high one, but 13.5, that's pretty good, especially if you're already going to buy something there anyway, so he's going on about this $10 off, he could have doubled that, most likely, and made $20 off, so he wasn't feeling so hot anymore, and I can assure you he won't be making that mistake again. So it's very simple. Before you shop online, go to Big Crumbs and see if the retailer you're about to buy something at is featured. Now on this page you'll notice there are three different kinds of cashback. One has 13.5, one has 7.5, and one has 1.5. What's the difference between all these? All the way on the right you see 1.5, it says referral commission. When you buy something online, this has got nothing to do with you. If someone referred you, they'll earn this commission. It doesn't change what you earn. If you, what you earn is either 13.5 or 7.5. And that's decided by which account you open with Big Crumbs. You see there's a Crumb Saver account and a Crumb Earner account. A Crumb Saver account will earn higher percentages, as you can see, 13.5. And when they refer someone, they'll earn a commission back. And that's where the party stops. If you have an Earner account, however, you'll earn a, slower, uh, a lower percentage for your personal buying, but when you refer someone and that person refers someone for five generations, you can potentially get cash back all the way up. That is only the case if every one of those accounts is an earner account. If one of those five is a saver account, it won't go up five generations. If you're not sure what kind of account you want to open, open a saver account. The reason is very simple. A saver account can always change to an earner account. 
but an earner account can never change to a saver account. So open an account, make it a saver one. I personally have a saver account because I shop a lot online. I can't rely on referral shopping to make that back as much as I do personal shopping. Um, but if you don't shop a lot online, just open an earner account. If you're not sure, open a saver account. Now, how easy is it to use? Now that we know what it does, we know what it gives you, how inconvenient or convenient is it? Um, let's start from the beginning. If you're going to buy something at eBay, you're going to go to bigcrumbs.com, you're going to go to the shop tab, you're going to select eBay from the drop down menu. Where are they? eBay. Here we go. And you're going to click shop now. If you're not logged in, it's going to ask you to log in. No big deal. And that's it. We're on eBay. Everything we buy in this session, we're going to earn cash back. If you buy one item, you'll earn cash back. If you buy five items, you'll earn cash back. You don't need to go back and forth. Some people think you have to go, every time you buy something, you have to go back through big crumbs. It doesn't work that way. Once the session is open, you will earn cash back on all those products. Even though it's pretty easy, I mean, you saw we had to log in. If you're already logged into the account, you won't need to log in every time you click on a link. But you still have to go to bigcrumbs.com to get cash back. It's still a little bit of an inconvenience. So therefore, they set up something called a quick crumb bookmark. And you can look at it right over here. That means you will be able to go to eBay have your account earn the cash back without ever logging into bigcrumbs.com, without ever going to bigcrumbs.com. It's very simple. We click on this link and it'll give us directions for the different browsers we're using. I'm personally using Firefox, as you can tell, but it gives you for Safari and Opera, which work the same, and also Internet Explorer, which works a little bit differently. If you're using Firefox like I am, you'll click on this link, you'll drag it over here, drop it, and that's it. Let's go to... Um, Let's go to another website. Let's go to Yahoo. And we want to now go to Big Crumbs. I'm sorry, we want to go to eBay and earn cash back. Instead of going to Big Crumbs and logging in, I'll just click on this link. And that's it. Now I'm earning cash back on all of my purchases. Simple as that. Um, I don't know how it could get more convenient. And that applies not just for eBay, it applies for all the retailers. They all have their own tab. Now, you want to sign up. We know how it works. We know how easy it is to use. We want to make an account. How do we do that? Are they going to need personal information? The answer is no. They don't need a credit card. They don't need a social security number. They don't need your shoe size. They need very basic information. If you want to open an account, if you're on our YouTube channel, which you probably are, uh, you'll notice links on the left-hand side. Um, these are links about the program, giving you more information if you want to read about it yourself. Let's go to the sign-up page. You're going to want to put your account type. We mentioned the saver or an earner account. You put a, you say you're opening as an individual or a business. Your first name, your last name, your street address. You want to put an email address. This is just the same email address as PayPal. You know, it's not private information. You can give anyone your email address. If you want to be secure, create a different password for Big Crumbs, a different password for PayPal. That way, if anyone gets into the Big Crumbs system database, they won't be able to access your PayPal. Um, that's about it. It's pretty secure. At the bottom, it has refer. This we went through our YouTube page. This it's already filled in. If it's not filled in, if you went directly to bigcrumbs.com in the future and you want to put a referral in, it will look like this. This box is blank. You can type whatever you want. If a friend of yours is referring you to Big Crumbs, type their name in. If you don't have anyone referring you, there's no reason not to put a referral in there. It's not as if anyone can see what you buy. If you if someone refers you, they don't have access to your shopping habits. They don't know how much you spent. All they can see is a rundown. Uh, they have 20 referrals, and their referrals spent $50 in the past month. They don't know who spent what and what store they spent it at, so it's 100% private. Um, if you want to type our referral in, we're Moby Central, M-O-B-I-C-E-N-T-R-A-L. And that's about it. That's everything you need to know about the program. Um, go out and shop and save a lot of money. Cheers.